Don't say anything to them because they keep each other company like that. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Sleepy Boo. It is 7.45 a.m. Boo slept on the bed all night, and I had to get up early today. And I had to make the bed around Boo, because he doesn't really want to get out of it. And the only reason he's getting up now is because I just turned the camera on. I did, however, put nature videos on the TV in the living room, so if he wanted to, he could actually go watch them. <laughs> But he says no, he's just going to relax in bed for a little while longer. He wants more pets. He wants more pets. Boo. Boo, I got to get going. I got to be out of the house by 10 o'clock, okay? I got a lot of things to do before then. Boo says one of those things is petting him. Okay, Boo. It's 8.37 a.m. and Stella does not want to get out of bed either. She slept here all night. Good morning, Simba. Simba's another one. He doesn't want to get out of bed either. He's watching the geese across the street. There's two geese across the street. And here's Splash. He's still in bed. Splash has turned this dining room chair into his bed. Good morning, Splash. The automatic feeders are all filled and programmed. Booze is in his room. There is plenty of fresh water here as well as upstairs. Security cameras have been strategically placed around the house. A whole bunch of toys have been left out for the cats to play with. And all the cats have been given their jobs, right Simba? You're in charge of making sure there's no bugs in this house. Hey, Marty. Say hello. Hello, Marty. Oh, pretty. What's the matter? Nobody's gonna hurt you. Come on. Come on, girl. Marty, eat your treats. Eat your treats. Go eat the treats. Go ahead. You want some crunchies? Don't say anything to them because they keep each other company like that. And Marty likes that. They love each other. And then they stay and keep each other company. Well, she didn't eat that food. Hello, Sophia. Sophia. Oh, you know why she has her fluffy winter coat on? That's why she looks different, right, Sophia? You're fluffy right now? And here's Marty. Marty and Sophia are buddies. Marty says, what am I doing here? Why am I here? And there's Sophia. It's about 1.30 p.m. Boo's been looking out at the window. The minute he sees me with the camera, he has to get down. Hey, Boo. Hello, pretty boy Boo. How are you? Having a nice day? Boo's happy I'm home. I was away for the past two days. Boo always misses me the most. Right, Boo? Right, cutie Boo? Yeah, right. It's 2.42 p.m. I just came downstairs and I saw this. 
So this is a soft-sided carrier that I've had out for a while and I put it here on top of this trunk and just to get it out of the way and just to give the cat some place to kind of hang out and Simba was hanging out in it. How you doing Simba? Did you enjoy hanging out in there? It is 9.19 a.m. and I just opened the back door and look at this. Ditto's here. He's drooling, but he's here. I haven't seen him in days. And I was wondering where he was. So he's back. And Hydrox seems to always perk up when Ditto's around. Hydrox really likes Ditto. Even though Hydrox might be wary of him at times. Like now he looks a little wary of Ditto. But he definitely likes Ditto. They're friends. So I'm going to give uh, them some food. I'll put some food out. It is 9.50 a.m. and Hydrox and Ditto are still eating food. They're eating so much food this morning, which is good because they have not been eating much recently at all. I've noticed outside cats, they don't really stick to uh, a consistent schedule with regards to what they eat. They will stick to somewhat of a consistent schedule, obviously, if you give them food consistently. So, um... I give them food twice a day um, in the morning and in the evening. They get wet food and there's always dry food in the feeder. The dry food dispenses twice a day. Um, usually, I think it's like a half cup of dry food or uh, three quarters of a cup of dry food in the bowl, just depending on the season. So there's always food in the automatic feeder. Now, when Stella, Splash, and Simba uh, were living outside and that automatic feeder went off, Wherever they were, they would come running to the feeder uh, to eat the dry food. Uh, so it was almost like a dinner bell from them, and it was so cute. You'd uh, see the feeder go off, you'd hear it go off, and then you would just see cats running from every direction. They were so happy uh, to have the food. And of course, I also gave them wet food at the time because they were grown kittens. So they had plenty of dry food in the automatic feeder, and then they had wet food uh, twice a day, sometimes three times a day, just depending. Um, so with Hydrox and Ditto, what I've been doing is um, I check them in the morning, like I open the back door, if they come to the back door looking for food, then I'll give them food. And same thing in the evening, if they're around, if they're looking for food, I'll give them food. Um, but if they're not around, I'm not going to put a bunch of wet food out just for it to sit around and go bad. So I figure that one out, because there's some times where they just... They go through phases where sometimes they only want to eat once a day. Uh, they go through phases where sometimes they don't want to eat for several days. Maybe they're, they've been hunting or maybe they've just been eating a lot of dry food. Um, you know, when cats live outside, you have no idea what they're eating. Especially here because I'm so close to the woods in a wooded area. You know, there's mice, there's chipmunks, there's birds, there's squirrels. There's all kinds of uh, small creatures that uh, cats can eat. And, um, so yeah, so, so that's the situation. They're really hungry today. They're on their second can of food after each having a plate of raw food. I don't know who ate all the raw food. I think Hydrex might have just eaten it all himself. Um, so, so yeah. It is 7.13 p.m. Here's Boo. He's been laying on top of this cat tower. And I thought I would tell you what just happened to me. So I just got back from a walk. I was taking a walk. Now that the weather is getting nicer, I'm trying to, you know, get more exercise in my day. And every day I've been just increasing the distance that I've been walking. I started with one mile and I'm adding a little bit of distance each day. So I was down the road. I was walking along the woods, just checking out uh, the scenery. And I noticed uh, a deer in the woods. And then I was walking back and I was probably a few blocks away from the house when I saw a cat and the cat that I saw was a tuxedo cat and from the back legs it looked like ditto and the cat was first the cat was in the woods and then it was running uh, alongside the woods so there's like the road and then there's like a grassy area and then there's the woods and um, so he was running along the grassy area probably like 50 to 100 feet ahead of me. And then I saw him kind of slow down 
and then he crossed the street. And so I just kept walking at my usual pace and was thinking, I wonder if that's Ditto. Well, the cat stopped and the cat was just sitting by the side of the road. He was kind of looking at me. So I just kept walking and when I got close enough, I realized, yes, it was Ditto. So I called his name and he turned around and he looked at me. And then I started walking towards him and for a while he was just looking at me like, uh, hey, what's going on? But then when I got closer to him, he started running away, but he was running toward the house. So he was like running toward my house. And not only did he run toward my house, he ran down my driveway and then it looked like he ran into the backyard, uh, like where the patio area is, where the shelters are and everything. Uh, but by the time I got there walking, um, I couldn't find him. So I just wanted to document this, that I saw Ditto down the block in the woods. He was obviously hunting. He was having a really good time. Um, he was running really fast uh, away from me at one point. And he was, you know, just kind of taking a nice trot along, along the woods. So I know some people uh, ask for Ditto. Uh, they wonder, like, where he goes. And uh, so that's... That's one of the places he goes. And I know Hydrox likes to hang out in the woods sometimes too, although now with the heated shelters and everything, uh, and now that he's getting older, I think he's really enjoying the comfort of the heated shelters. Plus, I think Hydrox is afraid to lose uh, the shelters uh, like, like last year when he lost the shelter to the possums. So uh, anyway, here's Boo. Boo's been hanging out. He likes to look out the window, see what's going on. A lot of people are walking their dogs right now. So, how you doing, Boozy? Hello, Boo. And here's Stella. Stella is Miss Manners. She sits here very politely. Hey, doing, Stella? Did you have a nice day? She was laying on the bed today. Nope, there's Simba. Simba got up. Stella says she wants me to grow new cat grass because this grass is really dried out and flat because she's been laying on it. It is 11.26 a.m. and I came outside to uh, clean out the shelter Hydrox has been hanging out in. He's been in the custom shelter under the house and he peed on the uh, training pads that were in that shelter. He has not done that in a very long time, so I thought it was strange. But, you know, with cats, you never know. So I decided to open this shelter to see what's going on in this one because no one's been using it in a while. And look what's going on in here. I mean, this is an absolute disaster mess. So I'm going to take the training pad out and put a new training pad in here then hopefully maybe someone will use it. The weather is getting warmer, so the cats are eventually going to stop using these shelters as the weather warms up, um, but the nights are still getting pretty cold. So here's Hydrox and here's Ditto, and let me tell you what just happened. So when I came out here to open up the shelter that Hydrox has been hanging out in, um, Hydrox ran over to the fence, and I was like, Hydrox, I'm not feeding you, you have food, why are you calling Ditto over? Because I knew that's exactly what he was gonna do, and sure enough, that's what he did. The next thing I knew, Ditto came over. So Hydrox loves Ditto. He absolutely loves Ditto. And the two of them are friends and buddies, which is nice. And Ditto is a bit of a mess today. I mean, his back paws are really messy. I don't know where he goes. I feel like he's going somewhere where he keeps scraping them up. So I don't know if he's, you know, uh, kind of getting into a really tight space where he's been sheltering or or what but he's very happy and he's been eating well and from what I saw yesterday when he was running around I mean he looked really spry and active so I think he's just looking kind of disheveled I took the training pad off and this one is quite bad um, it's even affecting uh, this pad that is on the heating pad. This is the cover that comes with the heating pad So I might take this cover off also and just put two of The wee wee pads on it. The problem is that it is really really hard to get into this uh, Shelter to do this so with the other shelter it's super easy. I just slide it out 
uh, take the lid off and you can get right in. With this one, I have to first take the roof off the doghouse. I have to take those insulation pieces out. Then I have to lift this out. Then I have to unvelcro the front of it. And even now that it's unvelcroed, it's still hard to get to this heating pad because the back of it is connected by the wire through the back of this uh, shelter unit. It's just nowhere near as quick and efficient as the wooden custom made shelter. Now they're both eating, so I can't go inside and get another training pad without disturbing them, so now I have to stand here and wait. It looks like I also have to refill the automatic feeder. I don't see any dry food in the bowl of the feeder. This was really not on my schedule today, so. I ended up going inside and getting this fleece blanket. Um, I bought a bunch of these at CVS a few months ago. Um, they're super cheap. They're like $2 or less for each one. Um, they're a good size, so I actually had to cut this one in half. So I'm going to take half of this and I'm going to wrap it up uh, around the um, heated pet mat in the smaller shelter. And then I'm going to put some training pads on top of that. And that should be good. It'll be nice and clean. Here's the shelter. It's all nice and clean. I wrapped the blanket around the heated pet mat. Then I put a good training pad around that and then I have a cheaper training pad on top. Um, now it does raise uh, the surface of the heating mat. So I'm hoping there's no issue with the cat getting in and out of the door if they choose to use it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.